Good morning, Jets. Please listen up to a few morning announcements. Today is Monday and an A day. And here at Charles Hart Middle School, every day we will ensure a safe, challenging, and inspiring educational experience for all. Our mission is leading change, challenging minds, transforming lives. Want to give a big happy birthday shout out to Columbia Wright and Samaya Cooper. They celebrated their birthday on yesterday. So if you know Samaya and you know Columbia, tell them happy birthday. All right, Jets. If you didn't tune in on last Friday, you missed a treat. We gave out over 400 awards. Yes, 400. Over 400 awards on this past Friday. And it was a huge event. So many of you all got multiple awards for all of your hard work and commitment during term two. And we're going to do it again for term three. So you want to make sure you are receiving an award for every single category because you can do it. And the only thing that those students did that you might not have done is that along with doing their work and doing it accurately, taking their time on their assessments, they're showing up to class every single day. And the key to showing up to class, ladies and gentlemen, is not just on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday and Friday. You have to show up on Wednesday as well. That's a part of your attendance. You're like, well, Princess was Strickland, it's the asynchronous day. We're supposed to sit around and do nothing. No, it's not. Every Wednesday, you must make a commitment to turning your device on, logging into Canvas, and getting on your teacher's office hours. So we have staggered office hours based on the department. So there's no excuse with you logging in and getting the support from your teachers. That's like a surefire way to get recognized at the next awards assembly. So make sure you are doing that. And if you just so happen to miss the awards assembly, head on over to our YouTube channel. We actually have posted the entire assembly there for you, your parents and your friends to watch and say, hey, actually when it scrolls off, you can get a screenshot of your award as well until we get them to your house. So congratulations to all of our students who work really hard during term two. I'm expecting us to double the number. So we did 400 awards, 400. Next term, we need to do 800 and we can. So make sure you are completing all of your assignments, taking all of your assessments and doing it with 100% accuracy. And if you need help, you know exactly who you need to reach out to. So also during the award ceremony, we announced our versus battle winner, the seventh grade killed it. They accumulated 1,866 points, which means they all get a hoodie and they get an asynchronous day. So stay tuned for those items. Students, don't forget, for those of you who are a part of our in-person learning program, make sure you're on time on Wednesday. Doors open at 9.45, not before. 945, please make sure you're there. And students, if you are interested in being coming to our Wednesday in person, please make sure your parent contacts the school so we can add you to the waiting list. But this is a reminder, you're only allowed to come into the building or participate if you have an up-to-date shot record and an up-to-date health certificate in the school. So make sure you let your parents know that if you haven't gone to the doctor this year, you need to go. ASAP if you want the option of being able to come back into the school building. It's Black History Month and we still, still, still uh, have a lot more to share with you. So this week, our entire advisory, our morning announcements are all dedicated to celebrating the accomplishments of African-American people, as well as some very influential um, events that have happened throughout our years. So make sure you stay tuned to that. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is one of my special friends. She wrote a song and I think she wrote it just for the students at Hart Middle School. So I hope you enjoy my friend Taylor's performance to motivate us to get us through not just this week, 
but through the rest of the term as we continue to soar, which means to be successful, be organized, attentive, and respectful. Have a magnificent Monday and see you all tomorrow. Get that work done. This is Mr. Hawkins, the counselor. The person that I chose for Black History Month is the lawyer William Patterson. It could be argued that 70 years ago, he's the first person that started our Black Lives Matter movement in the United States. Mm, you could say Ida B. Wells did it also in the 1920s with the anti-lynching movement. But William Patterson was also working with Ida B. Wells. That is why he is one of my favorite uh, people in history. When he realized that the United States was slow to act or unwilling, he went beyond the Supreme Court and him and Paul Robeson petitioned the United Nations. So much of what you see in the Black Lives Matter movement, the work had already been done in 1951 by William Patterson and Paul Robeson. This is a great read. It's called We Charge Genocide and William Patterson wrote it. Hey guys. Hey Heart Jets. It's Miss Green, your middle school earth and space science teacher. And I'm here to speak with you about Nelson Mandela, who was born in 1918 in South Africa and transitioned in South Africa in 2013. Nelson Mandela was a social rights activist, politician, and philanthropist who became South Africa's first black president from 1994 to 1999. After becoming involved in the anti-apartheid movement in his 20s, Mandela joined the African National Congress in 1942. For 20 years, he directed a campaign of peaceful, nonviolent defiance against the South African government and its racist policies. Beginning in 1962, Mandela spent 27 years in prison for political offenses. In 1993, Mandela and South African President F.W. de Klerk were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to dismantle the country's apartheid system. For generations to come, Mandela will be a source of inspiration for civil rights activists worldwide. Courtesy of Biography.com. Someone who inspires me is Barack Obama. I'm inspired by him because he was reared by a single parent and only met his father once or twice. With the help of his parent and his maternal grandparents, he was able to successfully finish high school and further his studies at Occidental College, Columbia University, and Harvard Law School. There he majored in pre-law and was the first black editor of the Harvard Law Review. After he finished college, he worked in Chicago, continuing to teach and practice law. Some years later, he ran for the Illinois Senate. His drive and determination led him to be elected as the 44th and first black president of the United States. President Obama demonstrated to the world that goals can be set and accomplished. Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Simmons, Heart 7th grade ELA teacher, and in today's Black History Spotlight, we're going to celebrate the multi-talented Ms. Zora Neale Hurston. Ms. Hurston was an influential author, anthropologist, filmmaker, and folklorist. Of her many novels, she is recognized for Their Eyes Were Watching God.
Herson also produced a great deal of short stories, plays, essays, as well as documentary fieldwork. She began her studies at Howard University, where she became a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. She was the first African-American woman to attend Bernard College, and she became a very important figure in the Harlem Renaissance while continuing her anthropology studies at Columbia University. She portrayed racial struggles, believed in the preservation of Southern and Caribbean culture, and she drew from the African-American experience um, and racial division in her collection of work. Not only has she been inducted into the New York Writers Hall of Fame, she's also been inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. And she's made the list of 100 greatest African Americans. Zora Neale Hurston will forever be widely regarded for her literary work, pioneering documentaries, and for being a dope black woman. Thanks for listening. This video. Yes, no one's perfect, and we all have the flaws, and we all face a challenge every day. But we can't keep on looking down. Instead, we're gonna keep our faith. And so, so, just a little bit more than so, a little higher. So, so, till we can no more. At least we brought the fire. We're gonna make it to the top. And if we fall down, we'll get back up. Yes, life ain't easy. It ain't no walk in the park. But that does. Strength inside